Welcome to Xara template tutorial lesson number 14. In this Xara Web Designer 7 Premium tutorial, we'll go over how to create a custom mouse over state. And in the following tutorial, we'll go over how to create a navigation menu using this custom mouse over state that we're creating in this tutorial. If you haven't already, go ahead and start a blank new document in Xara Web Designer 7 Premium. Once you do that, go ahead and go to your page and layer gallery. And we're going to go ahead and lock this panel by clicking the thumbtack in the upper right hand corner. And then make sure that you have the mouse off layer selected. And once you do that, go ahead and go to your quick shape options in your toolbar and select the rectangle tool. And let's draw a rectangle roughly about this size and go to your color editor and change the color to whatever color that you want. And if at any point in this tutorial you feel like I'm moving too quickly, it's probably a good indicator that you should watch some of the previous lessons because it covers some things that we have done, you know, in this in the other tutorials. So just make sure that you're watching the other tutorials too because it'll help you to keep up with me in in the future tutorials. Okay, now that you've got your rectangle created and you've changed the color, you should see that there's a rectangle on the mouse off state if you look at your page and layer gallery. So once you see that that is there, go ahead and go to your text tool in your toolbar and we're going to give it some text. We're going to, I'll call mine's home. You can call it whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. And try to somewhat center the button, I mean somewhat center the text on top of this rectangle. And once you create that, we're going to go ahead and left click in a blank space in your workspace and left click and drag over both the text and the rectangle and once you do that you should see in your page and layer gallery that both those things are selected both the blue rectangle and the text and go ahead and go to your menu at the top here and go to arrange mm -hmm. option and then look for the option that says control G or the text group should be here control G is to the right and that's just your shortcut but left click on this group option and now this becomes a group and if you look at your page and layer gallery you'll see that it says group because now those objects have become like one and no matter what you do like in terms of moving the position of that object they both stay together they're joined as one and if you click on this little arrow here you'll see that there's a text and there's also a rectangle and they're both grouped together as one object and if you left click on this object and move it around your screen you'll see that both objects stay together no matter where you move it so now it's considered one group another way to know that this is a group is to look at your status indicator it says one group on layer mouse off so now that we've got that group we're going to go ahead and go to the edit option in your menu at the top here and we're going to go to copy group and you'll see that there's a shortcut for control plus C if you know the shortcut you can just hit control C but in this case, I want you to know where the options is at in the menu. So left click on copy group. And then once you copy that group, go back to your page and layer gallery and select the mouse over state. And as you know, by default, the mouse over state is hidden. And we're going to keep it hidden just so you can see what happens or what it says when we try to uh, place an object on the mouse over state. So go ahead and go to edit in your menu bar at the top here and then go to paste and then go to paste in place and this option is going to paste an exact copy of, of the button that we created on the mouse off state on onto the mouse over state or the mouse over layer so left click on the paste in place or hit shift plus control plus V that's the shortcut so left click that and you'll get a warning that says the object you have created has been added to a layer that is locked or invisible. You may not be able to see or select it. Use the page and layer gallery to make the layer visible and unlocked. In this case, the layer won't be locked. It's just hidden by default. So you can ignore the part about it being locked. It just won't be visible. So hit OK. We're going to ignore that warning. And if you look in your page and layer gallery, you'll see that there's an option in there, or there's a now a group in there that's an exact copy of the home button that we created on the mouse off state. So now that we have a copy of that group, let's go ahead and uncheck 
the hidden icon that looks like an eye and it, it'll turn blue once you unselect it so now we have two copies of the object one on the mouse off state and one on the mouse over state and if you have the mouse over layer selected let's go ahead and make sure you have that selected if you left click on the mouse over object you'll see that hey it's an exact copy of what we created on the mouse off state go ahead and hit the undo key in your menu bar up here and it should go right back to where you originally pasted at and you should just see the home button like you did before and so next thing we're going to do is left click in the blank space on the in our document and left click and drag over both those groups and make sure that you know you don't have any hidden layers or lock layers in your page and layer gallery so once you highlight over both of those buttons you'll see in your mouse off in your page and layer gallery once you have that once you have I'm sorry I'll say this one more time once you have both of these objects highlighted like we just did we left clicked and dragged over both you'll see in your page and layer gallery that in the mouse off state you know we have the the home button selected there indicated by a blue rectangle behind it and in the mouse over state again you'll see that we have the home button group highlighted as well so now that we have both those highlighted I'll show you another way to know that they're highlighted look at your status indicator you'll see that it says two groups on two layers and so that's another way to know other than just looking at the page and layer gallery and the reason I'm telling you that is because sometimes you may not have this page and layer gallery locked you may have it where it flies in and out and it's just a quick way to look at the status indicator to know exactly what you have selected so once we have both of those buttons selected go ahead and go to your arrange menu and at the top here you're gonna go down to where it says group and alternatively you can hit control G actually no I'm sorry we're not gonna hit control G ignore what I just said and if you did do that just hit the undo key if you if you did hit control G that was my mistake so go ahead and select both those objects again by left clicking and dragging over it and go to arrange and apply soft group and alternatively you can hit control plus alt plus G so hit that and now you have two groups that are connected together through a soft group and what that means is if you move one of these buttons around like left click in a, in a blank space of your workspace if you move one of these groups around both move together as before if we move one of the objects the other one will stay in its original position but in this case it's kinda like a magnet holding both these groups together between two layers hope you're understanding that I hope I'm not making this too complicated for you but that's the first part the next thing we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna change this text and we're gonna change this text maybe to uh, let's call it text and then select your selection tool and if you look in your page and layer gallery and place your cursor over group one you'll see that it says text if you go over group two it says text so any part of the text that you change on either group will be reflect reflected across both it's almost like there it's like a mirror a mirror effect almost except it's not going in reverse it's in the same order so any changes that you make to the text on one group it will reflect on both groups because we turn it into a soft group and anywhere that you move one group the other group moves simultaneously at the same time in the same direction so they're they both they're basically parallel with one another and again I hope that's not too complicated for you to understand I'm trying my best to make sure it makes sense for you so now that we've done that the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna lock one of these layers that way that the changes that we make to one will not affect the other so we're going to go ahead and select the mouse off state and we're going to set it to solo mode by clicking the solo option and we're going to go ahead and double click now that we turn that to solo mode we're going to double click on this rectangle on the in the mouse off state and once you double click on that you'll see that you get like a square uh, icon next to your cursor and we're going to go ahead once that indicator is indicated that we have the rectangle selected 
we're going to go ahead and click the color editor and we're going to change the color to maybe a green or whatever color you want I'll make I'll make mine green then left click close the color editor and go ahead and select your selection tool and we're going to go back to the page and layer gallery and turn off the solo mode and if you look at the mouse off state you'll see that it's green but the mouse over state is not and the reason that it's not is because we locked the layer for mouse over so when you go into solo mode when you click that solo mode button the changes that you make to one group is not reflected across even though we have a soft group the only time the soft group works is when this solo mode button is turned off if the solo mode button is turned on at any point for a specific layer when you make changes to that group on that specific layer it will only affect that layer not both so go ahead and turn that off and there's a reason that I did that is because we want the mouse over state to have a different color than the mouse off state but we want the text to be the same no matter which state it's in okay so the next thing that we're going to do now that we have that created is we're going to create a new page so go ahead and select this page and you'll it'll be indicated by a blue rectangle left click and click on the new page option create a new page and there's a reason that I'm creating that page and I'll, I'll explain that later but go ahead and go back to the index page and then we're gonna go, go ahead and preview what this button looks like in preview mode so go to file and then go to preview web page and you'll see that when we place our cursor over it nothing happens it's just a green rectangle with text nothing happens but this is a preview of what the page looks like and the reason that nothing's happening is because we don't have a link to this file it's not linked to anything so let's go ahead and close this this page and once you close that go ahead and select this rectangle with the text and we're going to right click on it and we're going to go to the last option that says web page properties and once you do that go ahead and go the first tab you should see it actually should be the link tab in your web properties we're going to go to the link to option here and once you go to link to option click the drop down menu and select page 2 and once you select page 2 go ahead and hit apply at the bottom and then hit OK now let's go ahead and go to file again and go to preview web page now place your cursor over it you now you see that when we place our cursor over it it turns blue and that's our mouse over state that we created in this particular tutorial so by changing the color to green at the bottom separate from the mouse over state it turns blue now so you got the mouse over state which is the green with the text and then you got the mouse over state with the blue in the text and that's why we kept the text the same because we wanted the mouse over just to change the color but not the text and the reason that it didn't change colors before is because it will not change colors unless you are linked to some kind of page whether it's a page within your your website or page outside of your your website so just remember if you don't see the mouse over state working it's a good chance that you don't have a link to that particular object so make sure that you have a link linking to something or otherwise the mouse over state will not will not work so that's how you create a mouse over state uh, in XR Web Designer 7 Premium now alternatively you didn't have to link to pay a page within your document the other option you have is if you right click go to web properties and you'll see that there is an option to link to a web address which is here it says link to web or email address and I'll cover some of this stuff in a later tutorial I'm not going to go over, over links I just want you to have a general idea of what you need to do to make sure that the mouse over state works so that's how you create a mouse over state. Uh, make sure you stay tuned for the next tutorial because we're going to cover how to convert this mouse over state into a navigation menu bar. 
Thanks again for viewing this Xara Web Designer tutorial and give us a thumbs up if this tutorial was helpful and also make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on any new releases that we may have.